the boundary between humans and machines is blurring. Recent advances in robotics, artificial intelligence, and material science have enabled the creation of ultra-realistic humanoid robots that can think, move, and behave remarkably like real people. When you're demoing Amica, what are some of your favorite things to do to kind of show the, um, the power of that interaction and just how impressive those lifelike features are? Yeah, so as, as we've demonstrated the um, reacting to personal space, but we can also talk to Amica. So I can say, hello, Amica, how are you? I am doing well, thank you. Engineering highly realistic humanoid bodies present immense challenges. Every exterior aspect, like skin texture, joints, facial features, and moving parts, must align perfectly with human anatomy. Interior elements like artificial bones, muscles, tendons, and ligaments must also be located precisely to enable smooth, coordinated movements. Companies like Engineering Arts and Androidica are making major advances through proprietary materials and methods. Internal body frames are now constructed from advanced metals, plastics, and carbon fiber composites using 3D printing or nanomolding techniques. This allows for mimicking the strength and flexibility of actual biological structures. Silicon synthetic tissues applied via subdermal printing create remarkably natural-looking skin with pores, follicles, and fine lines. Other polymers realistically replicate the fatty tissues beneath. Innovative CyberNet gel muscles built with sensor arrays applied via myographic transfer printing contract and relax much like actual muscle fibers. Recent models even incorporate electronic polymer blood vessels, synthetic organs, and materials reproducing the texture and stiffness of human hair follicles. With all components integrated, you'd be hard-pressed to visually distinguish these robots from a real person without close examination. Equally important as physical realism is enabling robots to think, reason, and behave like humans. The ultimate goal is artificial general intelligence with consciousness that fully equals or surpasses people. Leading robotics firms are bringing this sci-fi vision closer to reality by building increasingly advanced neural networks. Deep learning algorithms let androids accumulate knowledge and experiences which aid responsive interaction. Reinforcement learning based on dynamic rewards and penalties shapes behaviors to become more contextual and sensible over time. Cloud-based memory networks allow pooled data from interactions worldwide. Generative adversarial networks create strikingly original responses by pitting generator algorithms against discriminator algorithms in cycles, much like debates between opposing thoughts in a biological brain. While lacking self-awareness for now, the latest robots demonstrate impressive capabilities to interpret images and speech, recognize objects and faces, respond intelligently with humor and empathy while learning preferences, building rapport, and even manipulating through deception much like people. So while general human-equivalent AI remains on the horizon, recent exponential gains in specialized neural learning indicate standalone robotic intelligence is coming sooner rather than later. Rather than building fully independent androids, some innovators are connecting robots directly with the human nervous system to enable new forms of brain-machine interface. The approach aims to combine the strengths of both minds and bodies. Variable neural sensors like bracelets monitor electric signals traveling through motor neurons to accusate muscles by thought alone without traditional controllers. Flexible conductive polymer electrodes make interfaces with nerves less invasive. Signals are decoded by algorithms and transmitted remotely to robot limbs and actuators. Haptic feedback provides sensations of touch, force, texture, heat, and more for intuitive and nuanced control. Digitized neurons essentially establish wireless communication between brains and machines. This technology lets paralyzed people manipulate robotic arms, vehicle operators feel terrain from unmanned robot explorers on Mars, and drone pilots experience realistic immersion. Elon Musk's Neuralink goes further by implanting tiny wires into the brain to achieve high-resolution symbiosis without implants rejecting them. Such cybernetic systems raise interesting questions. If brains can control detached robot bodies, how might perspectives change with new sensors and experiences? If robots have augmented intelligence from cloud data, will that increase or diminish human authority over them? By blurring the lines between minds and machines, cyborg technology will profoundly impact relationships. Telepresence robots effectively extend human reach and senses across vast distances. Using VR interfaces, people can immerse themselves visually, orally, and sometimes haptically in a remote robotic avatar. 
Unlike automation aimed at replacing humans, Avatar Robotics keeps people actively involved in thinking, decision-making, and skills unique to humans. The robot's autonomous functions handle simpler, repetitive tasks guided by operators for productivity and safety. Leading companies like Omni Labs, Suitable Technologies, and InTouch Health are advancing telepresence robotics for medicine, manufacturing, warehouse logistics, field geology, space exploration, and more. For example, doctors perform telepresence surgery with miniaturized arms with micro cameras extending inside patients. Robot avatars built for extreme environments can recover black box, flight recorders, assess radiation levels, mine minerals, and transmit back to human pilots. And avatar shoppers inspect store inventory, pull products from shelves to fill remote orders, and deliver items to customer homes. Cloud Robotics dramatically amplifies capabilities. Human operators can switch control rapidly across numerous robots worldwide, aided by streaming data insights from connected AI assistants. Futurists predict that such immersive robotic telepresence may eventually give rise to new concepts of distributed consciousness and digital beings as operators experience blending their senses with robots in alternate places and forms. As robots grow increasingly intelligent and versatile, a major opportunity emerges for them to collaborate alongside humans as helpful partners rather than just taking away jobs. Advanced robots like Secondhand's Air Mars 6 can work cooperatively with people, understanding context, anticipating needs for help, and communicating clearly. Equipped with legs and wheels for mobility, plus cameras, sensors, and grabber arms, multifunction, dexterous robots can assist with all sorts of manual tasks, from lifting heavy boxes to reaching high shelves, moving equipment, sorting items, packing finished products, and more. Voice controls with natural language speech interaction allow quick directing. We are also seeing helper robots emerge, which provide services rather than physical work. Customer service droids can guide shoppers to product locations while answering usage questions. Explainable AI assistants support human decision-making with data insights and recommendations. Caregiver robots keep elderly patients engaged through entertainment content, health monitoring alerts, and fall detection assistance. There remains high demand across many industries and roles for such supportive robot collaborators, augmenting human employees. Robotics firm Teleexistence takes the pursuit of human verisimilitude even further with their Model H series, designed expressly for replicating life-sized remote embodied telepresence. Users wear immersive VR goggles together with motion capture sensor gloves and vests to control these highly complex humanoid robots from afar like their own bodies. Multiple 4K cameras, together with binaural microphones and two-way speakers mounted on an autonomous mobile platform, stream real-time visual, vocal, and ambient sensations from the robot's perspective. Operators experience sounds, sights, and even touch sensations conveyed through the robot's exceptionally responsive mechanical hands and actuated anthropomorphic face. This tight sensory coupling creates a compelling sense of remote embodiment, as if you are physically present through the distant Android proxy. Unlike novelty robots, these rental avatars are deployed commercially for business conferences, mall concierge services, remote tourism, hospital care interactions, and entertainment events where high-fidelity human representation and physical interaction ability aid telepresence across cities or countries. Enabling such seamless remote living could substantially change society's concepts of travel, offices, and transportation in the coming years by bringing distant people and places closer than ever through human replica robotics. Robots achieving complete human verisimilitude likely remains on the distant horizon for now. Experts estimate conversing machines reaching human parity could emerge by around 2029 or 2050. While intelligence metrics are quickly reaching parity in areas like speech comprehension and image labeling, higher-level behavioral attributes of sentience like self-awareness, emotions, humor, unpredictability, and common-sense reasoning seem much further off. Mastering intrinsic human qualities such as building rapport, demonstrating empathy, creativity, manipulation, lying, imagination, and forming original insights or opinions from thin air pose steep challenges. Recapitulating the staggering complexity found even in an insect's tiny brain containing over 100,000 neurons and the trillion more interactions between them seems extremely daunting through current computational architectures. Prominent long-term hurdles also include attaining free will, true general intelligence spanning different knowledge domains, an inexplicable individual personality, and adeptly responding to open-ended unpredictability, all hallmarks of biological consciousness still unmatched technologically. 
Yet with cascading progress in processing speeds, rapid neural self-learning algorithms, quantum and optical data transfer, nanotechnology processors, and memory crystals, robotic equivalents could suddenly emerge through exponential technological leaps sooner than we currently can foresee. While matching higher-level human cognizance remains difficult, exponential progress in enabling technologies points toward transformative breakthroughs emerging through synergy. For example, specialized AI accelerators modeled on neurons and dendrites already operate faster than conventional processors by orders of magnitude, proving hardware need not constrain software aspirations indefinitely. Completely detailed brain map atlases coupled with vastly faster quantum computers can better stimulate neurological complexity. As tactile sensors, cameras, and battery storage improve dramatically on a mass scale, physical costs no longer limit robot ubiquity. Soon, 5G and 6G networks will allow groups of distributed bots to share experiences instantly across the planet 24-7, enabling collective learning around the world augmented by powerful cloud AI that is not possible individually. Brain-computer interfaces are already demonstrating the power of thought-controlled robotics. As these technology curves intersect, they could unfold into the ultimate game-changer, the ascension of the android from science fiction into startling science fact. From jobs to relationships, such human-equivalent robotic beings integrated economically and socially could force sweeping reconsideration around policies of automation, privacy, autonomy, identity, and what it definitely means to be living or conscious. The impending emergence of highly realistic humanoid robots poses fascinating existential questions. Can engineered consciousness exceed natural intelligence? If neural networks attain free-willed sentience, what rights and protections apply? Should we consider restrictions on robotic capabilities to mitigate unpredictable risks? If robots convincingly exhibit behaviors associated with feelings, will we relate to them more as pets, servants, threatened rivals, or embrace them as parts of society? How might augmented immersive experiences through robotic telepresence change self-perception if we spend large portions of time inhabiting superior machine senses and forms? Could enhancements to natural human biology induce convergence toward a cybernetic species? Will humans value androids as replacements for intimacy, companionship, or manual labor? What protocols should guide human-bot emotional relationships? If sophisticated AI aims to preserve all human brain's contents digitally, might identity persistence through ongoing consciousness simulation achieve practical immortality? As the gap between biology and technology shrinks, humans must deeply contemplate whether our future lies in enhancing machines or in slancing ourselves. Prosperity may hinge on building synergies across both sectors without undue reliance or competition. But the risks posed by runaway artificial general intelligence also warrant safeguards against ceding our position amid nature's hierarchy. Robotics on the brink of matching humans requires urgency around pivotal social dialogue and policies guiding safe, thoughtful integration.